Hello, pet parents. Robert Semro here at Blog Paws 2015, and there is a lot going on. In fact, I'm concerned we may see zombies soon. <laughs> the good news is we have Peter Shankman, who is the author of Zombie Loyalist. Peter, thanks for joining us. What brings you to Blog Paws? It's good to be here. I'm actually keynoting the opening session day one today, um, so I'll be uh, talking about uh, customer service and how you can get your audience and make sure people listen to you. Know and I'll, I'll be lobbying for cats because. I'm a cat person. I walked around yesterday, and it was like 99% dog people. <laughs> and they're like, so here's some dogs when I have a cat. Here's some dogs when I have a cat. And it's literally over and over again. We've got to get you to the cat style. Seriously, lounge. there's a cat lounge here. Come on, yeah. So now, you really have mastered social media. You have just... I, I've got to tell you, I, I loved Help a Reporter Out. Nice. So many great things that I was able to achieve with it. You still utilize social media... Mm -hmm. Where do you see it going, though? Because you were one of those innovators, and, and you have a line of sight that most of us don't. You know, it's, it's funny. I think that, that social, from the perspective of, of what it is, it, it's just another fast number. You know, the bigger thing for me is when, right now, imagine imagine a world where, you know, people still are amazed that you know how to Google something, right? I'm an expert in search engine. You know, it's the same thing with, with, with social. It's, it's become a part of what we do every day, and so we, we've got to stop looking at it as it's this extra thing. It's just, you know, it's part of our lives. When I go, when I land in Nashville and I go into Google search and I go find me a steakhouse, it'll show me steakhouses, not only the ones closest to me, but ones that, you know, my friends have gone to. So the network already exists inside all of us, and it's simply growing from there. It really is. Now, you've got a phenomenal new book. Let's let's share with the audience what that's all about. Yeah, Zombie Loyalists, using great service to create rabid fans, is basically the premise that we expect to be treated like crap in any customer service interaction, right? Uh, we don't expect people to recognize us. We don't expect people to know who we are. We don't expect people to give us anything more than the time of day or do exactly what they're supposed to do at the bare minimum. Uh, zombie Loyalism comes when you do a little bit more. You know, when you give them a free drink, or when you smile at them, or when you, you know, treat them not like a number, but like a person. And they wind up sharing out with the world and telling their friends and posting online and, and doing things that, that create these loyalists that people that want to go out and do your PR. Now, if you could give the audience one piece of advice to get to that next level, what would it be? <sighs> Again, we expect you to be like that. Be one level better. I'm not going to sit here and give this keynote thing and be like, you know, call Tony Robbins be like, you know, find your internet. Screw that. It's hard. Just be one level above crap. You know, we, when we expect to be treated poorly, just a little bit above poorly. You know, is enough to get people in on you, to, to remember their name, to treat them like a human being. I did that on Harrow all the time. I'd call people out all the time and say, hey, Mark, thanks for using Harrow. And I was like, wow, that me. So it's, it's, what can you do to just make that a little bit more? Well, and you know, I've got to give you credit, too, because you really do engage. You're accessible. I'm you're here. There. You're, you're there, and you're here. I haven't been caffeine yet, so it's I, very hard to person when you haven't caffeine yet. And, and folks, I, I actually arranged this through Twitter. Yep. So that just goes to show you are engaged and you can be reached. And that is that. I you can't say shock. You can't think. Yeah. yeah. It, it really is. Now, for you, what excites you right now about the technology world and maybe how we can use it in the pet world? <sighs> what excites you? Great question. I think that um, the ability to use video, video pricing has come down very cheaply. It's very easy to create something and share it automatically, whether it's through your phone or through a GoPro, or whatever. Being able to share things from a pet perspective um, really sort of opens that door. I saw three different dogs, not a cat, mind you, but three different dogs walking around yesterday with GoPros on them. That might be a bit much, but to be able to share information and video and show people what you're doing in real time, I remember not so much pet world, but you know, a couple of years ago I was I was doing a long bike ride and I know how to change a tire, but it takes me a long time. Sure enough, I got a flat in the middle of nowhere. And I pull up my phone, pull up YouTube, how to change a bike tire, and it's step by step walk me through. That same thing when working with animals, you know, when working with people, whatever it is, video is going to be tremendously important. Well, Periscope and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Now, I want to make sure people can follow what you're doing, get more information, because this book really has a lot of great information, great insights, obviously from an expert, right? Where can they follow you in what you're doing? My entire, on, on I am at Peter Shankman on all of the socials. Um, you can, the, the book is Zombie Loyalists, it's zombieloyalists.com. Uh, my entire world is shankman.com. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty accessible. <laughs> he certainly is, folks. Learn from him. These are the kind of experts that help transform the things we do. Take advantage of it. Peter, thank you for everything you're doing. We really appreciate it.